Hang Seng is up by two tenths of one percent. Japan's Nikkei 225 is firmer by about six tenths of one percent. We've been watching this big fall though through in iron ore and uh, UBS saying that you can see iron ore on the Singapore futures market fall below a hundred dollars a barrel. You've got the ASX 200 in Sydney down by nine tenths of one percent. Looking ahead to the European market open, we are expecting gains. Euro stocks 50 futures up six tenths of one percent. FTSE futures up by four tenths of one percent. And seeing uh, the yield on the US 10 year. At 1.3%. Let's get more on the markets now. Now, though, add that breaking news with our markets live editor Noor Al Ali. And uh, so, Noor, tell us about this uh, miss we've seen here in retail sales. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Well, look, it's, it's very interesting to see this miss, especially after the U.S. figures came out last week, because it's a really interesting comparison here. And when you keep when you put into perspective the BOE rate decision next week, uh, that that paints a really good picture. So let me dive in a little bit deeper here in the numbers, and I'm looking at the ONS figures here, and they do see that there is some evidence to suggest that further easing of hospitality restrictions had an impact on sales. And this is what you would expect.